Welcome back, Patriots. I'm Ron Kern, and thanks for joining me for today's episode number 26 of the Patriot Power Freedom Files, quick, condensed stories about the American Revolution that fit right into your busy schedule. On this day in history, September 20th, 1777, one of the most notorious events of the American Revolution occurred, the Battle of Paoli, also known as the Paoli Massacre. Although only 53 Americans died in the surprise nighttime attack by the British, American propagandists used this incident to paint the British in a not-so-good light, accusing them of mercilessly stabbing soldiers with bayonets. After the Americans were defeated at Brandywine Creek on September 11th, British General Sir William Howe's troops took control of Philadelphia which at the time was the American capital. General George Washington needed to keep his army close by to watch the British movements. And since Washington's army was constantly low on supplies, he also needed access to the stockpile stored in Reading, Pennsylvania. So as a result, Washington positioned his forces between Philadelphia and Reading, which on a map was about 50 miles to the northwest. He split his troops, placing some on both sides of Schuylkill River, just north of Philadelphia, and he instructed General Mad Anthony Wayne, who was camped nearby in Chester, Pennsylvania, to keep harassing the British and to try and capture all of their supplies. Wayne mistakenly thought that the British didn't know where he or his troops were, a mistake that would cost him dearly. British intelligence discovered that Wayne's forces were actually camped near the General Paoli Tavern in what is now Malvern, Pennsylvania. In this photo, a hundred years later, gives you guys an idea of what it looked like. The original part of the building, as it stood in 1777, is right in the middle portion of this building. Wayne also made the mistake of leaving his camp vulnerable at 10 p.m. on September 20th British troops led by Major General Charles Gray launched a surprise attack on the unsuspecting Americans. Gray had ordered his men to remove the flints from their muskets to ensure complete silence so they wouldn't accidentally fire a shot. Instead, they relied on bayonets during their attack. The British soldiers completely surprised the Americans. Emerging from the woods where they had been hiding, the Americans caught off guard, panicked, and they all started to flee in, in all different directions. The British then destroyed the camp and Wayne's entire division was overrun, losing 272 men, most of which were captured. Because Gray's troops didn't have flints in their musket, he earned the nickname No Flint Gray. Wayne was initially accused of misconduct, but was cleared of charges in the first investigation, though he was found to have made a tactical error. Not satisfied, Wayne pushed for a full court-martial to clear his name. The court-martial eventually ruled that Wayne had acted honorably. Eyewitness reports from American soldiers who actually survived the attack fueled American propaganda. Some soldiers claimed that when they tried to surrender, they were shown no mercy. Lieutenant Colonel Adam Hubley of the 10th Pennsylvania Regiment wrote that he saw the British, quote, cut and hack some of our poor men to pieces after they had fallen on their hands and scarcely show the least mercy to any, end quote. Later, Wayne got his revenge when he led a successful assault on the British at Stony Point, New York rallying his men with the battle cry, Remember Paoli, as they returned the favor. Thanks so much for watching. Check out full episodes of the Patriot Power podcast on all major platforms. For links, show notes, videos, resources, and more, visit patriotpowerpodcast.com.